Hello, this is Brett Hill with Office365Training.com. Today I want to review a really nice tip on how to map a drive letter to an Office 365 document library. This lets you do some interesting things like set up copy routines to copy files, potentially even synchronizing a document library to your PC. So we'll start with the document library, and as you know, a document library is a place where we can store some files, and if I click on any of these files in my library, I can access them and open them up and work with them. I'm going to click on Active Documents, which takes me to a document library uh, kind of zoom in so I can click on various properties. Uh, now if I click down here by the Add Document link or somewhere else in the area, I'll get the Library Tools menu and with the Documents tab selected by clicking on the Library tab I get some different options including an interesting one called Open with Explorer. This will work with the ePlans. Uh, generally does not work with the P1 plans since HTTPS is not supported with SharePoint and the P plans. You can see now that I've opened my document library in I can drag and drop documents to the Explorer view. And when I do, they appear in SharePoint Online. And there's my classes. And that that's great, but that's not what I want to show you. That's just the what's under the hood of what I want to show you. Another interesting thing that you can do is you can actually take this window and map it to a drive letter. So I want to use the net use command to map in a drive letter. So I'm going to say net use star and then put in a quote and paste in the HTTP path to the shared documents folder. This maps a drive letter Z to my shared documents folder. Now I can move to my drive letter and do a dir, and sure enough, here's a list of all of my uh, documents within the document library. I can change directories and go into photos, do a directory there and see the various photos. Those are OneNote notebooks that have some photographs in them. The cool thing about having a drive letter mapped is that you can act on this path using a drive letter using command line utilities. So you could set up a routine to copy your folders on a routine basis or copy your files on a routine basis from your computer to SharePoint or back and forth. Um, you know, you could copy from a repository that's being pushed maybe by a UNC path somewhere on a local network, and then once a day that gets replicated up into SharePoint Online. Lots of creative ways to use this technology. So let's just uh, quickly copy something. So let's just use a copy command here. Uh, we can use a good old X copy, and um, we'll copy from a path where I have some documents. And we'll just copy that. That's all we should need to do. Just copy those files. Sure enough, there they go. So you can begin to think of ways that you can use a map drive. You will need to have a currently logged on session in order to make this possible. Otherwise, it will time out uh, and won't be available whenever you go to do the copy. But it still is a very cool opportunity to be able to integrate SharePoint Online document libraries with your desktop using a map drive. So this is Brett Hill with Office 365 Training. I hope this has been a fun and helpful tip. Thank you.